I don't claim to be, you know, this well-educated person, you know, big fashion designer. I only know what I like. And then as the saying goes, you're only as good as the people you keep around you, right? So I try to keep individuals around me that are positive and focused and get what I'm doing and can get excited and passionate about it and make it happen. So I've put together, I think, an amazing team from my yoga teachers to the, to the woman that's working on the uh, skin and hair product line to our designer, Alexandra, who's working with us on clothing designs. You know, all these people just basically walked in the door and says, this is what I do. And uh, I said, perfect, we've been waiting for you. One of my favorite stories is I decided, you know, I want to dye my own fabrics because the chemicals they use in making these clothes, not this, this is our product, we made this, but the fabrics dyes that they use are all these chemicals. And I said, well, we're going to make an organic shirt, but then they're going to make, give me an organic shirt dyed with some chemical that will, um, one drop in a concentrated form will kill you. And I forgot the name of that chemical. But they put this in our clothing. And there's a whole process to that too, which is very disturbing for me. Because then they feed the ground up seeds and mash to animals and huh. it's not cool. Stay yeah. organic. Yeah. <laughs> All I can say is stay <laughs> organic. So I said we're gonna make a dye room. Okay, we're gonna dye our own organic fabrics with organic dyes. And I thought, well we gotta put patterns. So one of the old techniques is to do what's called batiking. Mm -hmm. I meant teddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have no idea how to do any of this. Uh -huh. But uh, OIC brings us our employees because our goal is to create jobs here. So they bring us individuals that need a job and we get them trained. And uh, Teddy came to us one day through the program and they said, well, we've, he doesn't have any experience sewing. And I said, that's okay, we can train him. Tell me what your experience is. He says, well, I used to be uh, in, in North Africa where I'm from I used to dye fabrics and I used to do the batiking and the tie dyeing. And, and then I just realized, you know, two weeks prior, yeah. we we're building this room and people are saying, well, do you know how to do this? Uh -huh. and I'm like, no, but the person will come when it's time. Two weeks later, the room is done and I'm wa in walks Teddy. <laughs> yeah. And that's his expertise. Uh -huh. So he's been with us ever since, and he's you know doing some really fun and cool things up there. Yeah. So again, it's just believing in what you're doing to make it happen. It's an interesting world we live in that we're able to, if you really want to, you can really just create what you want. Mm -hmm. uh, you just have to believe it. It comes down to that story you tell yourself every day when you wake up in the morning. Yeah that, oh, am I going to have a good day or am I going to have a bad day? I stopped doing that years ago. I never put into that, into my thoughts, am I going to have a bad day? I may have some obstacles, but I never have a bad day. You can't, because if, if you do, it then becomes your focus and guess what? You just can have a bad day. It just falls apart. And then later on, you learn from it, and it becomes a good day because you learned from it. Exactly. Yeah. Just look at them not as problems, yeah. but simply obstacles. How are you going to get around it? Sometimes you just got to go right through it. Mm -hmm. and that's okay too.